Chris, how are you doing? How are you, man? How are you doing? Yeah, yeah, really good, thanks. I'm going to begin uh, just by asking what it was that initially attracted you to getting involved in the Midnight Sky. What was the the sort of the main thing that made you think, right, this has got to be my next project? You know, most of the time, we as actors, we hope to be part of a fantastic movie experience, right? And I always think of myself as a as a as a viewer, as a as a spectator. So, for me, the first the first reading of the material is crucial. And of course, you know, if George Clooney calls you, you have to go, whether it is, you know, to make a film or just, you know, to jump off a bridge. <laughs> uh, and uh, so that alone is a blessing because that's that's what we actors, you know, want. We want to work with the best uh, artists in the planet. And when you, when the director, when the captain of the ship is someone like George Clooney, then you are sure that everybody else will be top of the line. You know, everybody, the rest of the artists in charge of every department will be will be high class, mm -hmm. and that's that's what we love. You know, I I, I just I, I just love the human experience in that sense. You know, and then when you hear about this beautiful cast, it's like, well, thank you, mm -hmm. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, because this is pretty much what we pray for. Yeah. Did you shoot with zero gravity in, in those scenes? And how, how, how was that? How was those? How, or, was it, or was it the magic of cinema? <laughs> yes, yeah, you know what? It's, it's one of those things that uh, creating that, it, it's, it is very challenging. Mm -hmm. They say, and I, I can confirm that, that an actor needs to be an athlete in many ways. You know, you have to be in shape. You have to be ready for pretty much anything. And this, the training for that uh, part of the film was particularly heavy. And I'm glad, you know, I, I, I think I work out, you know, regularly and I, I, I think I'm in good shape. And I think I am because um, we could overcome those, um, uh, that, that phase of training, which, you know, was, was heavy duty because the trick is precisely that, you know, create the illusion that you are there, you know what I mean? It's, it's just, it, it would be crazy to actually shoot the whole thing in zero gravity, that, that would be impossible. But George Clooney had experienced that before when, when he did uh, Gravity with uh, Alfonso Cuaron and Sandra Bullock. So there's a lot of things that you learn throughout the, the films you make. And I love the scene when the characters sing Sweet Caroline. I was just wondering, because in the UK, that's a very classic karaoke song. At the end of a night, when everyone's had a few drinks, everyone sings Sweet Caroline. I wondered what's your kind of go-to karaoke song? <laughs> I, I couldn't agree more, man. I mean, I love that moment. The audition was very, very difficult. Kyle and I had to audition for that with, with real singers, re real opera singers. And, uh, and we won, you know, we were the best. And George knows that, you know, he knows a good singer when he hears one. And uh, of course, that's a joke, of course. And, uh, but, but, you know, it, it, it was one of those moments where it is so real because that happens many times in our own, you know, solitude, in our own car, when you're taking a shower, when you're, you know, a little bit down or, or happy. And uh, I think it's a, it's a fantastic uh, moment, you know, and it, it has created a big impact. Uh, Joe Biden wants us to sing in Inauguration Day. So I, I think Kyle and I will be there singing a song or something. Oh, well, are you nervous about that? <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought I was sitting there thinking, are you serious? <laughs> but you've worked. <laughs> I was like, I, I was like, what a great story. Uh, you... <laughs> this, this, we have initiated a single career. <laughs> uh, my final question was obviously you've worked with George Clooney as one of some, an, an array of incredible filmmakers you've worked with. I mean, Tarantino stands out, Ridley Scott, whose birthday it is today. You must no feel way. able. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, you must feel very blessed as an actor to 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 share experiences with some of some of the greatest to to have ever worked in this art form. I, I couldn't have said it better myself. You have said it perfectly, uh, perfectly and uh, precisely. I, I guess you know. I dream with it, with such faith and uh, and believe that. You know, that's, that's why I guess that that's why things happen. And uh, 
I have been very, very lucky. And, and one of the things that you realize after working with some really fantastic heavyweights is that they're all the same. In, in, in terms of uh, approaching the work the same way, uh, George Clooney and Tarantino and uh, Steven Soderbergh and Chris White and, uh, and of course, uh, Ridley Scott and everybody, those guys are, they have a, 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 a peculiarity, a very special uh, virtue. They're kind and generous. Not only they know what they're doing and they, they know where to, you know, how to do it, but they, they make sure you have all the tools you need as an actor to give your best. So it is a blessing, yes. Cool. Well, thanks so much for your time today and good luck when you sing for Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!